I'm remembering in the last class, like every time a new video starts, we just have these huge shit eating grins on our face because we were laughing so much and just like yeah. trying to fight through it. Every sentence started with, <laughs> okay, so anyways. <laughs> We are DKNG, that stands for Dan Colkin, Nathan Goldman. We're a design and illustration studio based in California. We got our start working in um, design for the music industry, doing gig posters for the Troubadour in Los Angeles. Now we do work for a range of movie studios, corporate clients, and a lot of that work is designing in a very iconic style, like what we're gonna work on today. The purpose of this class is to create a series of icons, and when we say series, we mean anywhere between three or more icons. You can pick whatever you want. We're using movies as the example here. If you really want to do your favorite books or any other subject matter that you're able to research or take a look at reference imagery, that's all that's required to get started. The Paramount poster came about from a gallery in Los Angeles called Gallery 1988. We originally did a poster for them celebrating Bill Murray films. We couldn't pick one film, so we made one poster celebrating every movie that he's ever been in. And the gallery owner actually reached out to us saying, would you be interested in doing another poster that would be celebrating 100 films for Paramount because they're just about to celebrate their 100th anniversary. In thinking about icon design, it's important to think about both the icons standing on their own as one cohesive design, but also thinking about it in terms of the series and making sure that things like style and color really feel cohesive as far as the whole thing being a set. And we're gonna start off uh, the whole thing with creating sketches. And the sketch process really consists of concept development, getting a rough idea of what you're gonna be doing in terms of shape, composition, content, and then we're gonna bring that into a vector form in Adobe Illustrator. With this class, we're hoping that you'll take away a set of new skills um, and the ability to take complex information and really distill it down to a basic shape in the form of an icon. And think about how a concept can be used to explain what might seem like a more complicated idea in its simplest form. Once you get started, we'd love to see what you create and please share it to the project gallery. Let's get started.